hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new hi i'm totally tired because i'm gonna keep it totally rude with you guys go ahead and click that like and subscribe button to get turned up i'm totally tired it got here a little you know bell sound in the background or a little scr scratch or crunch crunch i have two cats so yeah over you know over here that <laughs> you probably noticed that i don't have no intro no more it's because I'm tired of YouTube motherfucking um, copyrighting me. So, it ain't gonna be no um, intro for a little bit. I need to figure out, like, why I keep getting copyrighted. Because I swear, the music is not even that long in my video. And I'm still getting copyrighted. So, your girl ain't doing this for free. You know, well, I am technically right now doing it for free. But, you know, for long, it won't be for free. Yeah, and they might be popping up in the camera, too so don't you just don't mind that you know but anyway this video is about the pros and cons of working at amazon okay so i just work amazon on the weekends because when i apply for amazon i was just starting at kirk so i'm like i don't want to you know quit kirk or just you know up in and dry like that you know what i'm saying plus it was also a seasonal position i applied for i didn't know you know what that meant you know i was not finna quit kroger's for a seasonal position at amazon and i didn't even like it and plus it was the most um highest paying position too for us for the weekend they was paying 18 50 the weekend the rest of the position was only like 15 so i'm just like turned down for what yeah. turned down for what you know so that's why i did what i did and yeah uh but now i look to record a little bit because i mean the job is kind of uh and i kind of i don't know anyway don't make it to that part but anyways i'm getting ahead of myself so yeah let's first talk about the pros the pros obviously is the pay the pay is really good for you not having you don't have to have no type of work experience at all the positions are dumb easy like i'm telling you a kindergartner can do the job they have at amazon and it's good hours like good hours good pay good benefits all that jazz um yeah that would be the pros of working i would think you of course you get a little discount if you shop on amazon you'll get a discount on amazon brands so not everything on amazon i wish y'all please believe me i wish because the only thing amazon brand i buy from amazon is their batteries but i don't be lying but yeah if y'all buy amazon brand stuff off of amazon you'll get a little discount for working there we're doing a little fun stuff like we have like a little fun calendar and like a newsletter they send out to us talking about all the little stuff like chick-fil-a is coming to amazon uh, you can get vaccinated there. If you get vaccinated on Amazon, you know, facility, you'll get a $40 raise, you know, bonus in your check. You know, those are pros and stuff like that. Um, I remember for Mother's Day, it was passing around cookies. That was cool. Maybe, maybe a little fun stuff like that. It's, you know, it's whatever. I don't really participate in none of that stuff unless it's free. And we only got Chick-fil-A free our very first day. Those other days, they be talking about, oh, Chick-fil-A coming. Do, 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 do. And they pass around those cookies. That shit don't be friend. They have food trucks and stuff coming. What are you looking at my finger for? <laughs> Sorry, he's like literally like right here. Hey. But y'all don't be doing that stuff because it ain't free. And your girl got bills to pay. And I be bringing my own food. So. But the cons though, yeah, the cons. The hours can be a con. I feel like it's a pro and a con. The hours, because it's, it's literally every day the same as that consistent schedule. I mean, that's a pro. I like the consistency of your schedule. Your schedule is not going to change. What you pick on mine, what your schedule going to be, that's going to be your schedule. Unless you put in a transfer uh, on your schedule and they approve it. And that's another thing, too. You have to wait for them to approve it. Then they'll schedule what you pick when you apply and it's gonna pop up there oh you want to work monday tuesday thursday friday 7 a.m to 5 30 p.m that's gonna be your schedule set so I, that's a pro um you know, the consistent schedule but it kind of becomes a con um the hours though because it is a 10 and a half hour uh shift every you know whatever days you work 
and it, it do it kind of get long because like i said your job is so kind of dumb easy and it does get kind of repetitive it's kind of like uh you know that's why i said i regret but i don't regret picking more days and hours um working at amazon because i'm like damn i could be really making bank right now because kroger's of course pay less than amazon working at amazon do so it's like but i mean working both of them at the same time i still make really good money coming in or whatever but i just kind of wish you know i don't know <laughs> i was working there full time instead of working at kroger's one time because i do kind of realize too i don't like customer service jobs anymore and that's another pro with amazon if you're anti-social you don't like customer service you don't like dealing for amazon is the perfect job i promise you that's a but that could be a pro too it all depends on like your personality you know my personality is i'm kind of sick of folks i'm not even a lot like i'm kind of tired of the whole people thing interacting with people thing so i love the fact that i can literally just go home to work do my job go on my break and clock out and go home i love that shit but i mean every once in a while it will occur and be like damn i'm a little lonely <laughs> you know i do you know like a little interaction you know i would like to know some of my coworkers, because when I tell you so many people at Amazon and every day you come, you're going to be seeing a new face. Yeah. So it's kind of like you kind of wish. I kind of, that's, again, for a con, you know, it's kind of like I do kind of miss the environment of actually knowing who my coworkers is and kind of like at Kroger's, I know all my coworkers that work in my department. And I know a few don't work in other departments and it's kind of like we're kind of like a family kind of so i do kind of miss that you know bond with co-worker because amazon i'm telling you <laughs> nobody's talked <laughs> you really like i said go to your station and do your job and you know clock out and go home type shit the only reason why i kind of got two friends at amazon first of all both of them are talkers so as soon as i said one word and then they was me like Doo -doo 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 -doo, you know to me and we just kind of click from there but yeah uh, i don't even know how me and old girl became friends i really don't i think i don't know i really don't remember but i know how me and this um guy became friends because i was talking to him because and that's a con i'm gonna get to that part but that's a con amazon do get really disorganized but that's how we became cool because uh they had stationed us at this station and these other people was coming to a, a manager station them it's like okay we both can't be at this station who well, you know what's going on and i was kind of talking to him like yeah like a manager you know the same manager station you, you know this africa this is african lady <laughs> an african lady you know she's stationed you to this station right like yeah me too I'm like okay so why are these two people coming you know he had a person coming to the station i'm up you know trying to kick us off the station so yeah we and then after that he just started talking, 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 talking and we just kind of you know became friends from that y'all already know i'm editing y'all already know i already know what's happening you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah and also too he had a kennesaw state university um, face mask on so i kind of started talking to him so it's kind of my fault too because <laughs> i did low-key start a conversation you know of course me sparking that conversation like oh you go to kennesaw sorry the whole thing this man was telling me like his whole life story of like what he want to do in life yeah so it's kind of my fault too how me and this <laughs> person kind of became friends but yeah, I just want to bring that up too. But for the most part, I don't be like starting conversation for people. And most people don't either. So that's how you don't really become and get friends at Amazon. Because you just be at your station doing your job. That's it. Human interaction going on at Amazon. I guess unless you're like them, you're just a talker. And you take one little conversation I might have said to you. And you know, run with it. <laughs> but that's not me so i'll probably never come to friends with nobody <laughs> not really unless i really just kind of try but i'm not really a talker like them yeah that is a pro for me personally that you don't really have to interact with people because or you know yeah because croakers it's like a lot it's like a night and day 
coming from Kroger's and not coming from coming from Amazon because sometimes they schedule me after I work a ten and a half hour shift. Amazon and still schedule me on the schedule for Kroger's to work a closing shift. It's like a night and day. I'm like, oh, yeah, that coming Kroger's customers and folks have all over me, and it'd be like that's stupid. And I realize like, people are dumb. There's a lot of dumb folks like that out here. Like the Kroger's I can't I work at. If you don't know this and you haven't seen my uh, YouTube videos about Kroger's, the like, Kroger's I work at is ghetto as fuck. And I just kind of realized like how like dumb and ignorant and ghetto and ratchet and a bunch of combination I don't like about people that are in people. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't like customers. Like I think working at here, working at the job I'm working at, now, it was like my breaking ball. Like, yeah, like Chipotle. But and if y'all haven't already seen my video about Chipotle, Chipotle was already bad. But uh, yeah, you too much. I'm um, I'm over it. <laughs> Okay, so that's a pro for me, but for some people it might be a con, like if you're a very social person, but hey, I mean, if you, I mean, you, you just have to talk to who, I mean, but the environment is really like, you're just that show station type shit, I mean, might spark a conversation, like I said, the only reason why me and these talk is because I was making sure like, hey, you know, the same lady, uh, you know, the same manager, you know, has you at this station okay and the same manager had me at the station type shit but yep that was that throwing shade and i don't think i don't know if oh girl i got my youtube videos or not but i just kind of realized too you gotta actually want to work to work on amazon let me throw that out there you can't be you know oh i want the money but i don't really want to work for the money because i know two people um that well i know one girl who quit because, yeah, she didn't actually want to, you know, I'm going to go, like I said, again, it's not hard, but it kind of gets tiresome and repetitive. You just don't know something thing over and over. If you haven't already seen what my position is, all I'm doing is scan this shit and putting it in the bar. That's all I'm doing. Scan, scan, scan. That's easy. You know, easy money to me. That's how I look at it. But a lot of people are just lazy and they really don't want to do the work. And then they'd be looking surprised too because it's so calm, you know, for me. It don't bother me, but for a lot of people, that's a con, you know, that can be a big deal breaker. It was, I'm going to write you up. If it's any and everything, they they can do to write you up. They can write you up. I'm not saying uh, they will, because I'm saying they are threatening you. Thank guys. <laughs> As another con for Amazon, you cannot sit down. You have to be standing. The only time you're allowed to sit down is for your own break. Literally, I know y'all probably think I was already here. I just know I'm so dead ass, and that's another calm getting to about sitting down and why you will want to sit down, but it's you can't sit down. Okay, so the other calm with my position, I don't know about every position to how you know they should. I'm pretty sure it's kind of the same thing. You run out of stuff to do, you literally will. You can you're literally run out of work to do, but you you're stuck just with nothing, you know. And with me, what I will run out of. And my position is toast. If I don't have any toast, that means I don't have anything to scan. If I have nothing to scan, there's nothing to do. Because the toast is what I get. I get the stuff out the toast to scan. And if I don't even got no toast, then yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> it's no job. You know what I'm saying? And there'll be a lot of the time where a lot of the people who do brain at work don't even know that that floor, that side of the floor, these were. It's just a lot of miscommunication up there it's a lot of it do be a lot of um disorganizedness going on i've seen that several times where um literally actually the last time i worked i was talking about when you first walk in it's gonna have a board and this one i tell you part time goes to two ways oh no i'm sorry this is two ways two ways which is level four west side of the building you know whatever whatever, whatever. looked on the board last sunday it said i think it did say two bus i used that as an example but that was really what it said and it, it was no manager up there so it was a bunch of us just literally just standing on the floor looking like what to do because you have to get uh, a manager has to be there to assign you to a station because they don't like us because honestly i'm gonna tell you the truth for a while that's what people was doing they was um you know, going to the floor, waiting for a manager to come to assign them from the station. And I think, I'm pretty sure somebody told us we didn't have to do that. Like, oh, you don't have to be for manager. You can just go to a station, you know. But 
if nobody didn't tell us that i think people was putting two and two together like this is bullshit like all this waiting for somebody to come they might be up here they might not trying to hunt down manager but that's another con it barely be any managers on the floor ever but that's a pro that can be a pro too you know it's a con and a pro it's a lot of cons and pros it, it depends on how you look at it because the con can be you actually need help and ain't nobody around because that has happened i've actually needed help but there's nobody around and it's actually a button you can push on the screen that says and that should alert the man it's supposed to alert the managers that you need help but are they still gone no <laughs> it's just like it's a button that pops up there when you're out of work is it is the people still coming to bring you work no you'll still be sitting there really i've literally waited an hour y'all for, for people uh to bring us pallets the totes on it to do some work i'm dead ass so when i first very first started working there i was like yeah this shit is easy as fuck literally we're getting paid to sit down well at the time i didn't know because somebody was really getting on us i guess because we was new i bought sitting down but yeah i was really just sitting down on my phone and chilling like a villain too turned up <laughs> my mom was literally texting the time how are you able to respond back to me so quick because i'm not doing shit we keep running out of work if the whole floor is sitting down because no the whole floor don't have no work <laughs> but um yeah that'd be that but i guess the pro can be that she ain't gonna shit <laughs> you know when there's around shit i'd be putting my airpod in and chilling the music because like i said again do kind of get repetitive and kind of like uh you know a little mm, sometimes so I got popping that you know, little AirPod a little bit and to my, you know, motivate me to keep pushing because um that's a con because they do keep up with your tag time, uh with your you know, how fast you go and stuff, and you can't get written up for the I, I personally, like I said, old girl has gotten two write ups. Cause again, like I said, you gotta really be in the mentality of working to work there because she don't want a mentality and she that's why she got two write ups because she does not anything no she don't see towards her she said she had to work on it the last time we was at work it kind of seemed like she was she um i'm gonna tell you this girl text me back quick as fuck this gonna be texting me back to back to back yeah and that's another thing too you can talk a lot in person but the fact that she talks a lot in person and she texts a lot and she actually like takes the way she talk but anyways <laughs> I hope she don't watch this video. <laughs> I don't know, like again, like I said, you can get right, right, roll up, right, write ups and stuff, but any and everything. But it, I think it really, honestly, takes over a period of time. Like over a period of time, you just doing the same thing over there. Because when I tell you, we've been working at Amazon since April, and she's just now are getting two write ups. Yeah, that that speaks volumes to me. Because <laughs> when I tell you, this girl's been doing this since day one. Yeah, that's so what I was saying there before about the whole. You run out of work and you can't sit down yet. Yeah, that really sucks. It's literally like, what to do? What, like, what do you do? Like, really, they just expect. And I seen somebody do that. And that shit looks so weird. This lady was just literally just standing right on the end of her station, just looking. So when I was walking by, I seen this lady just standing there, just looking at nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, that's weird. Like, who who does? Like, who really expects you just literally just stand there waiting, waiting? For what? You know what I'm saying? It might really take another 30 minutes for somebody for a call. Like I said, I personally have waited an hour for somebody to come and bring us some work one time. My floor some work. So, yeah, they got me fucked up on that. I figured out some of the tricks and the little pools on how to, you know, fit in that snap. But, yeah, technically, they... And so, at first, I thought the rule was, because we have these little steps to um walk up on to put... If we want to put some up at the top part of the paws... Um, they was I thought we couldn't sit on that because I was safety habits because really it's like a ladder, right? Okay, so what I would do, uh, and I seen other people doing was get some totes and then stack up and sit on the totes. Then people saying, nope, you can't even do that no more. You can't even sit on the totes. So I was literally pulling a chair. That's what the chair is for for sitting on. Nope, you can't sit that. Oh, I literally see the girl. I think it was either Saturday or Sunday. Last Saturday or Sunday, I just worked. Sit on the floor. It was this Muslim girl. Sit on the floor. I literally, I bet your kids say, nope, you can't even sit on the floor. <laughs> I mean, she was on the sit on the floor on her phone. So that was a little bad. But still, he was like, yeah, you can't sit on the floor. <laughs> you can't sit on the floor on your phone like that. Like, Damn. But she can't even sit on the floor. You can't sit at all, guys. Like, period. You can't sit unless, like, again, you're on break. <laughs> but, um, 
and that's another con because our brakes probably to be whack i don't really like our brakes are scheduled but sometimes they be changing the brakes i don't know why but when they change it they push it back like hella back like brakes the way brakes are supposed to be it's supposed to be first brake is at 10 the second brake is at 2 30 it'd be like oh, okay well we changed the second brake to check the second brake we're gonna be at 4 30 like damn that's a whole two hours later like i'm kind of hungry now you know what i'm saying so they be pushing that shit way back <laughs> type shit but hey it is what it is um yeah that's the con of another pro another pro is um they have actual good food in the vending machines like especially the main break room they got um hell of food and vendors and stuff like that for you to buy some food so hey if you forgot to bring food hey amazon got you and it's a vending machine at each break room um mr um refrigerator put your lunch bag in each break room oh i just thought of a con <laughs> speaking of each break room each break room is about a three mile away from your station yeah the break rooms the way that they, they built amazon is terribly they should have did better with that like literally it takes and not my i swear to god <laughs> last sunday i was looking at my phone to um i was just looking at my phone just to see how far it really was and it literally took me five minutes to walk to the bathroom that's how far the bathroom was and i think i had to end up turning around and i didn't even go to that bathroom because some people yeah i remember last sunday yo i promise you and that's and that sucks too and that's what like really be like self contradictory you know what i'm trying to say itself because they be looking at that too like they look at the, how long you've been away from your station and they're gonna be like oh i just got been away from her station for 20 minutes well it literally took me five minutes to go to a bathroom because it literally did it took me literally five minute walk to find this bathroom that was close to me just to see that it was closed off because the janitor was in it so i was like okay i'm gonna go to another bathroom that was another five minutes and i think with that bathroom i don't know i don't know if i ain't going to that bathroom i think i seen a bunch of shit in it and i was just like yeah i'm not i don't even want to flush that shit yeah and I ended up walking to another. So you anyway, it literally took me 20 minutes to walk to the bathroom. Of course, it took me another 20 minute walk to walk all the way back to my station. I had to literally walk all the way to the north side, the south side of the building. Just go to the bathroom, guys. That show made no sense. <laughs> Why gotta do that? <laughs> Some of the break rooms actually do kind of close to you. It seems like they have more break rooms than bathrooms. Um, that'd be close to your station and stuff that she possibly might be on. But that was bathroom hella far. I don't like that. I'm, I might piss myself. Like, you know, do I need to bring a diaper? Like, <laughs> what's going on? But yeah, and you're gonna be doing a lot of walking. That's that could be a con. I don't really care about the walking. That could be a protocol for me. I feel like I need to exercise, and at the same time, like, damn, I'm doing all this fucking walking. But yeah, I tell you, I swear, it takes literally four flights of steps just to go to the second floor. Not even playing. And next time I go to Amazon, I'm gonna record that shit. Like. <laughs> I promise you, you think, oh, okay, you just going on two flights of seven, just going on the second floor? No. Floor two? No. It's really, literally, it's either three or four flights of stuff you go on to just to even get to floor two. Yeah, the second. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that place is big as fuck. Gonna be doing a lot of walking. You better wear some comfortable ass shoes, but that's a pro, though, with Amazon. It's no uniform. I mean, I mean, they kind of, they just, I know they said something about you can't wear Crocs. My mom keeps interrupting my video. So if it looks choppy, that's why. Yeah. I don't know what I was saying, though, guys. Um, I know I was saying the bathroom's in my way. You're going to do a lot of walking. What else? Yeah, it's a lot of uh, pros. It's a lot of uh, diversity. I see a bunch of people from different, you know, religions. And when I tell them I work at Amazon, they be like, oh my gosh, how are they treating you up there? I'm like, fine, I guess. <laughs> you know, I don't care. Like a lot of people. Like, Amazon really got this reputation of we get treated like slaves. I mean, low-key we do, because I don't like the fact that we can't sit down even if we run out of work. It's, like, literally nothing to do. But, like I said, I came up with little tricks and ways to finesse that shit. But it's, like, still, why do I got to come up with this shit? You know what I'm saying? Um, Another thing, they told us we can keep our phones on us because of COVID. But then they turn around when they see us on the phone, they get mad and they be like, get off your phone. So, a certain manager. There's a lot of managers that's cool. It's like literally probably like two or three I've ever met that might have said something to me about my phone. But most of the managers and shit, when I do see one on the floor, 
they go as fuck. They don't even say nothing to me. They just keep walking. You know what I'm saying? I encourage people to work at Amazon. I personally like that. I personally want to get on full time. I'm really trying hard to work get on there full time now and wait for them to, um, you know, approve it because they have to approve it for you to get switched on. But I feel like honestly, they hired again. Like I said, they hire any and everybody. It's so easy to get one to Amazon. All you have to do is pass tests little assessment thing and you're automatically hired even with the drug test thing um i don't know what they really testing for and stuff like that but i know a lot of weed heads i work up there you know what i'm saying you know i'm not to clean this myself but you know what i'm saying so i mean you know those jet tests to go through that's the thing that's for you like you're on like comment and subscribe guys say bye to theo he is knocked out